Okay, this is Kermit, and we were discussing carding the other day, and I told you I'd do a short video clip on how to do carding and what carding is. Carding is actually the removal of undercoat by using a knife or a stone of some sort, and I'm going to be using my Greyhound carding knives. I have medium, fine, extra fine, and a coarse, and then I have a detailer by Pearson. Unfortunately, they no longer make these knives. They do make the Greyhound, and they're available through Ashley Craig or any number of other places online. What I like about the Greyhounds is that they put the knife at the proper angle, which is pretty much straight up and down. And it's hard to do, and you still be able to see what I'm doing, but you stretch the skin, card, comb it basically with a knife, and that's your undercoat and your dead hair. And what it does is it allows it to lay flatter, and keep a much, much more natural look. And as you can see here, it's pulling out lots of hair on his black, tons of hair on the white, and he just had a bath, so it's actually harder to get the hair to come out, and it's coming out like crazy. But you can see how nice and tight this is laying after just a short period of time, and this is the extra fine knife. Again, stretch your skin. Follow the lay of the hair. His hair actually swoops like this, so that's the direction I'm going in. And then when we get up here, his hair changes direction. So we're going to go down. And because he is a black and white, he does have two different textures of hair. The black is a lot softer and curlier than the white. But on him, it doesn't really matter. It works well anyway. And you can see up in here, it's just going to make it lay so well and so tight to the skin. It's going to look as if it grew that way when we're done with it. And that's carding. You can do it as well on a short-haired dog. Let's say you have a pug or a chihuahua that is shedding really bad. It's a great technique to use on those dogs for the same reason. It pulls out the dead hair and just makes it a lot easier to do. A lot easier to get the hair out. It's a safer technique and it's really good for their skin. You can use the same technique of carding on terriers that you have clippered to help remove the dead hair from the follicles and it helps prevent the comedones that schnauzers are normally get if you do not get the hair out. And on Westies it helps tighten up that color, that um, texture of that skin. On wire foxes it helps darken up your color. So even if you don't hand strip, carding is something you can do. Again, it's not hard. It's just like combing. You're just combing with a knife or a stone. And if you'll notice, he's got a lot of black hair in here. When I am done with him, most of that black will be gone. And his coat is laying beautifully flat. And again, it looks as if I grew it that way, as if it grew that way. Ignore his bevels. They look crummy today. But there you have it. That's how you card. Stripping is a little different. Stripping uses a stripping knife, which is what this is. And when you're stripping, you're actually pulling the hair. That is a little more tiresome, it's a little harder on your skin, a little harder on your arm, a little harder on the dog. It has its place as well. But carding on um, most dogs will help with your shedding and it will, like I said, keep the follicles open up, make the hair lay flat. It's a wonderful technique you can have and something anybody can do.